CataractCoach.com. Foreign body capsule rupture, dealing with the traumatic cataract and the corneal foreign body. And our guest surgeon is Dr. Shantanu Kumar Gupta from Varanasi, India. So this is a patient who's relatively young, and he had a corneal foreign body that ended up piercing inside the eye and nailing that anterior lens capsule. So tripan blue dye was placed. You can see the capsule's already ruptured. Small nicks were made in the lens capsule with the small gauge scissors. And now caps rex is being done to your, the best of your ability. Now, with this irregular break in the lens capsule, you can't create that perfectly round rexus, but you don't necessarily have to. Now, because the lens is soft in this young 30-year-old patient, you can just use bimanual IA to remove all the lens material. Be careful, don't touch the lens capsule edges because you don't want that irregular anterior capsular opening to zip back to the posterior capsule. So the lens removal here is very easy because again, it's very soft. The patient really didn't have uh, any nuclear sclerosis whatsoever due to the young age. And once you remove all this lens cortex, you'll be able to see the outline of what you have for the capsule. And that looks pretty reasonable. The patient can have a nice intracapsular fixation of the eye well, so you can get the lens in the bag. And so here's the viscoelastic going in, filling up the capsule bag, and then the eye well will be inserted. So remember, there's no main incision yet, so you gotta make the main incision, and just wide enough to put the eye well in. Here comes the eye well, deliver that in the capsule bag. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens, looks pretty good. And once that's centered up, we'll focus our attention on addressing the corneal foreign body. Now, important to make sure there's no other foreign body stuck in the eye. Make sure there's nothing in the vitreous. We'll examine very carefully. And of course, any of these trauma patients that you see, always examine both eyes. The normal eye sometimes can have a foreign body as well. So now he's going to play with the caps rexes here a little bit, get that a little bit nicer in shape. This is a nice move, but not really critical. So now sealing up the incision looks pretty good. What about that foreign body? There it is. So you can try to get it out from the front. It's a little bit tough because it's so deep in there. So how much do you dig? You can use a small gauge needle here or even an MVR blade. It's still tough to get it out. And so now he's gonna push from the inside using an MVR blade. There we go, a little bit off the screen here. And once that's brought forwards, it can then be pulled out of the eye. Now remember in these patients, you wanna do the combined procedure, that's great, but there's a little bit higher risk of an infection. So the classic teaching is just to do the foreign body removal and corneal laceration repair. And here you see there's, there's the removed, removed foreign body. But these days, and you'll see many videos on my cataract coach site about this, we often do both at the same time. Fix the traumatic cataract with the anterior lens cap that's already open and repair the corneal laceration, remove the foreign body. At the end, check everything, make sure it is completely watertight. Do a Seidel test with a fluorescein strip. That looks great. Nice video. Thank you for submitting it. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.